That's awesome. Yes! He's eating grass. <laughs> what do you put on that? That's some high tech redneck stuff right there. Yo, what up, happy people? I'm Robert Arrington. This is Deer Meat for Dinner, and tomorrow is the start of turkey season. The first thing you have to do on any turkey hunt is know where you're shooting. So we have a target there. Those aren't like my best drawings, but they'll do. It's one thing to shoot a bird flying. I keep both my eyes open and I just like, it's all instinctual. But when you're turkey hunting, you're sitting down, you're in a weird position. On the front of your gun, you have a, a bead. <clears throat> I put that bead right on his head and I lower it down until the barrel covers that bead and I put just the top. I can see just the top. I put that right where I want to shoot and uh, normally we have good results. That's 15 yards. Obviously the center of my shot was about right here. That's a dead turkey, 100%. Drop it in, press button. I get used to keeping my finger on the safety. 25 yards. Still super dead bird, but I would say the center of my pattern is about right here. I was aiming for right here, but look, 25 yards. We still have a very small pattern. That bird dead 100%. 35 yards, this is a real life situation. There's some twigs and whatnot in the way. This is still no doubt a dead bird, but you can see now we have the whole pattern going like this. Now I'm gonna show you why you spend the extra money and buy good shells. This is a Kent TK7. Let's go see. This was 35 with just a normal number five cheap turkey load. This is 10 yards farther. This is over 45 yards. Look how many pellets are in the turkey and look how many pellets. I mean, heck, just in the head, we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. We have nine pellets in the head at 45 yards. Guess what I'm gonna be shooting. ditch bank right now and all the turkeys are on the other land they have to fly across this ditch bank to get to where we are So all the birds are on the ground now and they've all headed to the north. So we're gonna get on our, our electric bike and just start cruising and try to find them. This is the first time we've ever hunted here so we have no idea where they were gonna cross. I thought they would cross right here, but they crossed down there and are going away. So Tom is, is of the essence and we're not looking good right now.
there. And whenever I get to like 50 or 60 yards, I'm going to have to shoot the bird. Don't worry about them. Got him, buddy. Yes. Yeah. That's awesome. Yes. That was the best turkey hunt we've ever been on. He fell in the canal. Yes. This is, there's our bike. We're riding down here and we saw the turkey out in the ditch or out in the field right here. Yes. <laughs> Good shot. Hold on. Let me just finish him off this. He's dead. You, um, honey, you, you shot him right in the head. Oh, He's okay. dead. <laughs> yes! Can you believe that? You guys. I literally strapped the decoy on the front just thinking, hey, if if a de if a turkey sees us on the bike, he's not gonna hear anything, oh but he'll see that fan, and there's all this tall grass out here. <laughs> and so literally we saw the bird, he was out here, oh and I started putting and I made some aggressive <laughs> uh, uh, like a fighting purr. And I thought the bird was gonna fly across the ditch, but the bird came down the ditch and she saw the oh bird. Oh my God. I was like, hey, just, you gotta get it. Oh, okay, this is one of those times where I was like, well, there's a bunch of grass my way. But like, if you just raise your gun six inches, the grass isn't there anymore. Yeah. So I just raise my body up a Make little bit. Make sure it's on safety yeah, it and go get the leave, the, leave the gun here and go All get right. the bird. Oh my. Beretta, E300, you I guys. Mean, have you ever had to go in a canal diving for your bird? Let me take my stuff over there. In case you're wondering what's in my pocket, it's four shells, rope, 
and chapstick. <laughs> uh. The way it happened though, like, shout out to Quiet Cat. I just saw the redhead, so I don't even know what, how big the bird is. I mean, what? Are you kidding me? Oh my gosh, you guys. Here, heads up. Unbelievable. Nice what a nice, I didn't even see the beard. I just saw the red head. What a nice bird. Pull out here in the road. Oh my gosh. Look at the spurs on that am, pig. Here, watch the fire ants. I am not believing that. Oh my gosh. That is like the coolest turkey hunt I've ever done, ever. See how dark that is? That's an the, Aussie old baby. Look at the size. Oh my God. I'm gonna talk about that for- Kent number ever. seven, you guys. I'm telling y'all, that Kent pattern so perfect. All we had was a shot at the head, pow! I mean, perfect. We're gonna walk up here. Let's see the and trail. Show show y'all what we saw. No, how we made that happen. This bird is sopping. When you keep running, walking like this, we were sitting right here and she shot right down there. We were laying right here with the bird right there. And uh, we, Let's just say we had the bike. I use. couldn't stand the bike up. We were just using this grass as cover. Laid the bike down and uh, be good to go. Pack? down there and then beyond the backpack there's a blind about 200 like a yards down there is our blind where we were hunting it's like let's just keep dropping things off ah that was so fun time to clean a turkey y'all unless fun. we see another one then she's going to become camera woman and this is still rolling probably this is still rolling <laughs> oh my goodness so sarah's cleaning my truck now i'm going to clean her wet turkey let me show y'all a trick we're just going to run through this thing real quick Grab that, that, that beard right there and just pull it out. Didn't know that's possible, but it is. What, what is this? What's the name of this place? Pioneer Growers. Pioneer growers. No, I know you're Pioneer Growers, but what, like this whole, yeah. We're at the barbecue festival out near Lake Okeechobee right now. And I came to see my friend, Brad Newboys. Hey, Mr. Brad. Him. Hey, Bobo! Sarah's favorite thing, this is the Tory Island Barbecue Festival. Tory? Tory Island. It's Tory Island. Yeah, just like that. Just like that. And this is the Pioneer... Pioneer Growers. Pioneer Growers, 227 Northwest Avenue L. <laughs> yeah. Are you in Bell Glade here? Yes, right. Bell Glade, yeah. Florida. They're the largest sweet sweet corn grower in, a, in, a, in North America. America. North America. We're about to try it out. I hope you gave me good here. <laughs> what do you put on that? Uh, mayonnaise, parmesan, and parmesan tahini. Parmesan and tahini. Tahini seasoning. Yeah. Do that. What, what they just said? Mayonnaise, parmesan, mayonnaise. Use some mayonnaise. That's on freaking believable. It's really good. What's up, y'all? You good? Give me some skin. Say hey to somebody. Hey. Hey. Who are you gonna say hey to? Uh, I don't know. Got questions? Yeah. Tell me about that. Questions about Jesus? Yeah. Questions about the Bible? Yeah. I can I can try to answer them. If I can't, the Lord will. That's right. <laughs> You guys, I've known him for many, many years, and every single morning, he sends me a text with a really cool scripture, and that's the favorite part of my day. He's one of the, he's an amazing person to me and to my life, and he's someone that I look up to, and uh, they're out here barbecuing today. I'm taller than you? Well, I still, I get that. <laughs> but uh, he's out here barbecuing today. Look at that. That's some high-tech redneck stuff right there. You got the airbags. Look at this. <laughs> you just like doing that, don't you? Fat man. <laughs> but uh, we've had an amazing day. We've ate some amazing corn. Done all kinds of cool stuff. They have like an airboat show going on here, a barbecue show. But uh, we're going to head back to the house and we're going to cook turkey tonight. 
I don't think it's gonna be this good, but we'll do our best. We're here, and it decided it started to rain. So we got our turkey here, let me show you. Typically we do this when it's not raining, but under the circumstance, we have no choice. Take the back of your knife and like scrape off some of that bloodshot and feed it to the fish. Season it up good. Wild turkey is gonna be a little bit tougher than regular turkey. This is our Everglades fish and chicken and it's gonna add a really nice color. Let's go throw this thing on the grill. There you go. Oh. Now we're gonna make a sauce. Let me show you guys this. Who doesn't like a honey mustard? This is orange blossom honey, it's a local honey. And local honey is good for your, your immune system. It's good for your allergies. And this is a brown French's brown spicy mustard, about that much, about a cup. So this is tapatio, it's a hot sauce, really good. You like hot sauce? Yeah. Yeah? I can put it. <laughs> this right here, this is my friend Raul. Yeah. So I met Raul at the Miami Boat Show. He's a very good guy and I guarantee you, you're gonna be seeing lots of him in the future. He speaks perfect Spanish. And if you think it would be a great idea for him to translate my entire channel and we make some new videos, Spanish. drop a thumbs up. If you think deer meat for dinner would be help to the Spanish speaking community mm -hmm. from here all the way down to Chile. That's right, my friend. Yeah? It's the only way. Say, tell everybody something in Spanish. Yeah, so, van a estar viendo eh, mucho el contenido de Robert, entonces le está preguntando, por favor, si le parece interesante hacer toda la traducción de todo el contenido de Robert, eh, Robert Dear to Me en español, desde Estados Unidos hasta Chile. Si le parece bien, y esto parece que tiene buena carita, buena carota. Vamos, Robert, para el propio video. Después, ¿tú? Yeah, taste. Wow. Andele pica pica. Estoy muy lento. <laughs> so, if you speak English like me, Believe that that was good. Yeah. Oh my God. Mm. That's gonna be good. When we came out here, it wasn't raining. Now it's raining. <laughs> Pretty hard. <laughs> Look at that. <laughs> Thank God for our Seaward system fish cleaning table that substituted for a turkey cleaning table today. The people who make my table are amazing good friends of mine and they make really cool tables. Thank God it walks out the rain. There you go. It smells like a dead toad though. Ugh, golly, it's horrible. A dead toad is somewhere in there. Uh, Ew, it smells so bad. Look at this. That's the only way. We got, us a, <laughs> we got an umbrella now. Now just sit down there. There you go. It'll start to fire back. We were absolutely not planning for this. Is this a beach umbrella? I think so. We're just doubling as a uh, cooking umbrella right now. Who says you can't grill in the pouring rain? We've proven that myth wrong. Look at the rain. This is unbelievable. The sauce is made by God. It's all... Perfect. Perfect. I wish you can taste it. It's still good. Getting wet, getting wet here. Getting wet. <laughs> the wind. It's like a hurricane out here. This is not your prototypical deer meat for dinner video, but it'll do. This just shows that when you want something really bad, you're gonna fight for it. <laughs> hey. 
<laughs> so good. <laughs> Listen, <laughs> thunder, and the thunder rolls, and the cookie turks. No, the turkey cooks. That looks pretty good. It looks delicious. Yeah, right. Would you call this thunder chicken? This is this is the real thunder chicken right here. We're cooking thunder chicken. What do you think? It's crazy, it's crazy. It's Thunder like, chicken. Yeah. <laughs> Under the water. We brought this whole party inside. There's yeah, already. because it was pouring rain with you stealing the whole umbrella from Bob. No, yeah. actually the party started in here. He's just joining the party. Yeah. Isn't she pretty? We just got back from church. We actually hunted yesterday, cleaned the bird, and then today we went to church. Raul came over, Bob's here. Let me show you guys what's going on. If you want to watch her behind the scenes, it's called Dear Mom. Just check out Dear Mom on Facebook. On Facebook? Or on YouTube. <laughs> I'm an idiot. You bought her get it. I bought her get it. <laughs> Then for those of us that love this, we'll take a little balsamic glaze. Look at that. Woo! Only one way to make this better. I actually just ran out and grabbed some herbs out of the garden. We have some basil. And rosemary. we have some rosemary. Can I sprinkle it? Can I sprinkle the rosemary? Yeah, that was a thunder chicken running around at cow pasture yesterday. Looks so good. 3.30 in the morning. Not a, Not a soul in sight. No bird. Not a bird in sight. Not a bird in sight, yeah. Oh. Got my 20 gauge in my left hand and my quiet hit, quiet cat in my right. <laughs> Sounds pretty cool, huh? <laughs> If you, did, if you didn't butcher it so bad. Yeah. Okay, so I'm not a singer, y'all, just in case you're wondering. This is totally natural peppers that we just picked and free range organic meat and Thunderbird organic herbs. What is it? It's a Thunderbird. Yeah. How is it? Hey, go, go sit down. Yeah. Come on, sit down. For all of us. Roll, sit down. Let's see the Brussels because we have a lot to be thankful for. Lord, thank you so much for this day. Thank you for this food. Thank you for another wonderful week. Thank you for a great turkey hunt. And thank you for my friend, Brett Dubois. Uh, such an inspiration to me to remember every day is a gift. And to thank you for that day, for the ups and the downs. Lord, thank you for my family and all my friends. Please look after us and guide us and keep us safe. In Jesus' name I pray, amen. Amen. Okay. If you're not thankful, folks, you're nothing. Is it very good? Okay, hey, <laughs> family style. It's very good, but this is the first one. Very good. Yeah. I just turned on my faucet. Very good. Very good, Bill. From the first one. There you go. Very, very good. But like I said, here's the thing where I'm going to pick up. Here's the turkey. I don't know what he's saying, but it's good. <laughs> that is the best turkey I've ever had. Wow. Wait, 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 Dad. Can I see? For those of you who don't know, I love onion. It's super tender. So tender. So tender. Mm. Oh my god. Way more tender than than typical wild turkey is. I'll take the pork back. <laughs> mm. Anytime you're eating wild turkey, you always have to be cautious of BBs in it though. So every time you're mowing, just be careful. You don't have a BB in your teeth. Yeah, I doubt. When are you going turkey hunting? Tomorrow. Yep. <laughs> Scout in the night. Oh my goodness. 
sin palabras. Sin palabras. Está very, very, muy bueno. Muy bueno. Muy bueno. It's very good. Good? What do you think, Emma? Sí. It was 10. 10? 10. In English this time. It was 10. <laughs> hey, 10 out of 10, you guys. We did really good. We're going to sit down. We're going to eat. We're going to have a good time. And uh, it's Sunday. I've got the video edited. I just want to have this added and uh, the video's done. If you guys want, if you're on TikTok also, I have a channel called The Real Deer Meat for Dinner. There are so many people on TikTok stealing all my footage. So if you want to find me, actually us, on TikTok with the authentic, behind the scenes, never before seen stuff, go to The Real Deer Meat for Dinner. Real as in R-E-E-L. I started my TV career on Real Adventures. So kick back to them. You guys, I love you so much. Please subscribe, like, tell a friend. If I could ask you to do one thing, just share one of our videos on your social media. I really want to dedicate this year to getting back to as good as we can be. Thanks so much, take care, God bless, and we are... Check out Dear Mom, go on.